right, here are the half-lives for some common radioactive isotopes. So the first one, carbon-14, is used in carbon-14 dating. Archaeologists use it to identify the date of objects that they find after uh, when they dig stuff up. And then we have other things like radium, 3.8 days, uranium, 7 by 10 to the power of 8 years, and uranium-238, roughly 4.5 by 10 to the 9 years. So different isotopes, so carbon-14 is a particular isotope of carbon, radon-222 is a particular isotope of radon. They all have different half-lives, so the time taken for their activity to half is different, or the time taken for the number of undecayed nuclei to half is also different for each of those elements and each of those isotopes. And just to show you an animation on it, I have here... Uh, a lot of red dots which are representing the number of undecayed nuclei and there are 100 dots here so we're going to start here at time equals zero there'll be 100 dots and what we'll do is we'll start this going and it decays like a radioactive isotope in that the decay is random but over a particular time limit called the half-life the number of undecayed nuclei will half so it will take a certain amount of time for the 100 dots to go to 50 that's one half-life. Then it will take the exact same amount of time for 50 dots to go down to 25 dots. That's a second half-life. Then it will take the same amount of time to get to the third half-life, which is to go from 25 down to about 13. So let's play it and let's have a look at it. So we're at one half-life now. So that was about 33 seconds. Two half-lives at about 66. And now when we get to there, 99 so that was three half-lives. Now that's one radioactive isotope. A different radioactive isotope would have a different half-life. So this one has a much shorter half-life. So to get here, it was about 18 seconds, another 18 seconds, another 18 seconds, and so on and so forth. So the amount decayed here uh, occurs quicker, or the rate of decay occurs quicker in this case. And then the one that has the largest rate of decay in which case it's got the smallest half-life, is this one. And we can see there that to go from 100 dots down to 50 took about 10 seconds, according to this. So then to go from 50 to 25 would also take 10 seconds. To go from 25 to 13 would also take 10 seconds. I'll show you that with the others. I'll just press play. So the time taken in this case for half of the undecayed nuclei to half to go from 100 to 50 works out as roughly 30 seconds to go from 50 to 25 is a further 30 so that would be at the 60 second mark and three half lives then would be roughly at the 90 second mark